Okay, here we go. We are back with another video for today. Today is going to be our Timberwolves five minute rebuild. What we do, we've got the Minnesota Timberwolves, and then once we've made that first trade, then we have five minutes on the clock to make as many trades as we can to make this team as good as possible. So what I am planning right now, I'm gonna, probably gonna keep D'Angelo Russell and Kyle Anthony Towns. Those two we're gonna probably gonna keep on the team. And then we're just gonna tr blow up this rest of the team, man, and then try our best to get players who we can, you know, start and make better on this team so i'm gonna go look i'm gonna to go in the scouting reports and see what i can look at i'll try and go after probably pascal siakam i guess we could go after because he's normally someone that's not listed as you know untouchable so we could probably go after pascal or we could just use the trade finder but I'm going to sort out a trade and I'll start the timer and I'll see you guys then. Alright, so I did do a little bit of searching and nothing really good came up. Like, no good players. So what we're probably going to start off with is this trade with Derek Rose. Who we could move to the shooting guard and try and get ourselves good players. Once we make this trade, the timer will start. So... If we go here, we're going to make this trade in 3, 2, 1. There we go. The timer has started. There should be one on screen right now. So what we're going to do now is move Derek Rose to the shooting guard. And then we could probably pair Derek Rose with like James Johnson. And we could probably pick up someone very nice for our team. Hopefully, anyway, we can get uh, Clint Capella, I see. Uh, with basically, the enti entire gist of these videos is to just like, you know, try and build the best team you can while under a whole lot of pressure. That's, that's the entire gist of these videos. Uh, let's go... Okay, yeah, I spent way too time looking for a pl player to trade here because I thought we had Jake Lehman, so I was looking for his contract, but we do not have Jake Lehman. I can tell you that right now. Uh, I see Aaron Baines, mm, uh, George Hill, Kevin Porter, uh, Ennis Cantor will do, I guess, because we can move Ennis to the power forward. If we move him to the power forward, it would be nice if this could all go through for us. And then Ennis Cantor and Malik Beasley. Let's see what we can get here. We need, what, a shooting guard? I think we need a shooting guard. So if we can pick up a shooting guard, like, that would be nice. Oh, I do see Lou Will, which would be nice. Oh, oh Spencer Dinwiddie. Thank you. We got our spell Spencer Dinwiddie, so we need a shooting guard and a power forward. So we'll move Dinwiddie to the two, and then we'll try and pick up a better starting two guard. That's what I'm going to try and do anyway, but without... Ooh, yes, Zach Levine will be very nice to bring onto the team. Now we need a power forward, which is a lot easier to find because we can just move a bunch of centers to the power forward, and their trade value goes up heaps, and then we should be a-okay. So can we pick up a decent power forward here? I do not see, I do see Devontae Graham, which would be handy to bring off of our bench, unless we want to just move him to the shooting guard and see if we can get a bit more trade value for him. Uh, do we have any silly contracts? Jake Layman's on a three-year contract, uh, 11 million. Let's see, do we, oh, I see Mitchell Robinson, which is decent as well, which we can move to the power forward position and uh, see what we can get from Mitch here. If we can pick up a power forward, because we do need a power forward, can we pick one up? Otherwise, we'll keep Mitchell Robinson. Yeah, I'm thinking we're going to keep Mitchell Robinson hit now. Unless, yeah, no, I'm good with the starting five. I like that. That should be all right to win us a few games. Willie Hernan Gomez off the bench is nice. So we need a backup uh, every other position except <laughs> center. So can we get a backup point guard here? That would be absolutely lovely. I see Alex Len. Oh, oh Austin Rivers will be decent. Let's go here. Let's go to Reggie Bullock and Naz Reed. Let's see if something comes up here. Could we get a small forward? I see Glenn Robinson, the third. Oh, Aaron Baines. That's decent. We can then use Aaron Baines uh, as trade bait if we move him to the power forward. Uh, to Actually, we could keep him at the power forward off the bench. Okay, okay, okay. Could we now bring a shooting guard off of our bench and then we should have a decent team set up? Okay, yes. We've got a decent base here. We've got two minutes left on the clock. So what we can now do is go here and look for trades that will hopefully get us better starting players. We can get Montrez Harrell. That's pretty good. Demontes Sabonis. Uh, Montrez we could use and then tr move him to the uh, power forward. So yeah, we can do that. I'll bring Montrez Harrell onto the squad, move him to the four, and then we can move Montrez and say pff, Aaron Baines. Could we find a power forward? We can get Bam. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty good. I like this BAM deal. We get Mayers Leonard with that. De'Aaron Fox and Jabari Parker. I prefer this BAM out of bio trade here. Uh, and now we go to... What? What do we need? What do we need? Because we've got BAM who plays the four. We've got Willie Hernan Gomez, Austin Rivers, Mayers Leonard. Okay, so we need a... Sent up. 
shooting guard small forward to come off of our bench. That's what we really need. So Mayers and Trevon Graham, could we get a shooting guard small forward to come off of the bench? I see Pat Bev, Cody Zeller. Oh, yes, Bogdan Bogdan. Oh, no, that's our Farouk Aminu. We need a Bogdan Bogdanovich. He would be decent to bring onto the team. Let's go here. We should be okay. We got starting five kind of set, I guess you could say. Uh, let's just have a look if what we can get for Zach Levine. If we can get something else, uh, something else for Zach, I won't say no. Uh, because, you know, it's always trying to get our team a bit better. And right now, I am stressing out and I'm making a lot of mistakes when it comes to this thing. We can get Derek Rose, eh. shooting guard, anyone. Zach Levine is probably the best bet we're going to get. Yep, yeah, Zach Levine looks like we're keeping you for now. Uh, what else? I'm alright with DeMar, am I? Yeah, I'm okay with DeMar DeRozan. Why wouldn't I be? Why wouldn't I be alright with DeMar? Let's see what comes up. So, ooh, Chris Middleton. Go bear, mm, not really worth that much. Could we? I'm gonna go Chris Middleton, not gonna lie here. Last move of today is gonna be Chris Middleton instead of DeMar DeRozan. And the timer is just about up, it stops about now. So there we go, we are all done for there. So I'll sort out rotations and all that type of stuff. I'll see you guys when it's all sorted. Our team for this five minute rebuild is D'Angelo Russell, Zach Levine, Chris Middleton, Bam Adebayo, and Carl Anthony Towns. We then have Bo Bogdan Bogdanovich, sorry, Lily Hernan Gomez, Austin Rivers, and Kyle Korver coming off our bench. We got Carl Anthony Towns, Bam Adebayo, and Chris Middleton as our scoring options and we got a three and a half star system we are still a projected like bottom seed 26th seed so that's that's a bit upsetting so we had kyle anthony towns make the all-star team on Lebr team lebron and then we had bam Adebayo make the all-star team on team Giannis, and that's all all-stars that we have for that season we went 53 and 29 lebron james won himself mvp and bam Adebayo most improved good on your bam frank vogel coach of the year so i'm guessing we didn't get anyone on any of these all nba teams i'm guessing anyway oh no cat got all nba second team and that's that, that's it player stats kyle anthony towns 25 12 and 5 points uh 5 assists sorry that's good 22 to 11 and 2 for bam 18 4 and 5 for chris middleton 16 4 and 3 for zach levine and 15 2 and 9 for d'angelo russell so we had a very very good team offensively our team was first and defensively we weren't the greatest we were probably one of the yeah we were the second worst defensive team in the league so i guess that's that's not good and differential we were sixth we were the second seed so we're taking on the clippers in the first round and and I don't like how we're taking on the Clippers in the first round. So I'm prob we're probably going to lose here. Because uh, the Clippers are like 2K's favorite team besides the Lakers. And uh, okay, we don't lose in five games at least. We don't lose in six games at least. And we manage to get past game seven and we're taking on Luka. Either way, either three of these teams that we would have to go up against in the... like. Yeah, no, it's not nice. We're up 3-1 on the Mavs. The Luka, 2K's Wonder Boy. Okay, Luka, and uh, now we're taking on LeBron and AD. We're probably, we're definitely not going to be able to get past these guys because 2K fucking dick rides the shit out of the Lakers team here. Watch us lose in five games, even though we won the first game. We lose in six games instead. <laughs> I was one game off, all right? And the Bucks lakers went to the finals. I mean, that's normally what happens in 2K if you just simulate it anyway. So here was our team. I thought we put together a pretty dang good team considering we only did it in five minutes. That's going to do it for today's video. I'm sorry if it's a bit short, but uh, I am kind of pushed for time today anyway. So hopefully you guys all have enjoyed it, today's video. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It would be absolutely amazing if you guys could do that. We are so, so close to 1,000 subscribers and it would be absolutely Absolutely amazing if you guys could help us out if you made it this far into the video why in the heck not subscribe but that's going to do it today lads hopefully you guys all have a good rest of the day i'll catch you guys in the next video